tonight's top story as election season continues drawing closer. The McLennan County Republican Party is saying enough is enough after seeing Trump 2020 signs continually get stolen and vandalized. But a six news reporter Cole Johnson explains this isn't just a plot problem on the right. It's campaign season, so it's natural to see voters make it known who they support. But up in McLennan County, signs for Trump Pence 2020 are being stolen has really reached an all time high. The chairman of the McLennan County Republican Party, Bradford Holland, wants signs to stop being taken and vandalized. Well, we think if you have political differences, you should sell those at the ballot box. Holland says they're getting reports of about 10 small yard signs a day being taken or vandalized. Gil Lillard says he's experienced it firsthand. I woke up this morning and found that my sign was gone. Woodway Public Safety waited on the issue on Facebook after catching someone on video removing a Trump sign, but leaving two other Republican candidate signs alone. Saying in part, quote, a friendly reminder that theft or destruction of political campaign signs is considered criminal mischief punishable by a fine of up to $500 and possible additional charges of criminal trespass. But this isn't just happening to the McLennan County Republicans. Uptick almost immediately. Uh, some counties have had it worse than we have. In Mary Duty is the McLennan County Democratic Party chair. The Democratic Party of McLennan County rejects this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we wish that whoever stayed in our Biden signs had quit too. Both sides agree. Leave the signs alone and take up the matter at the voting booth in November. Reporting in McLennan County, Cole Johnson, 6 News. All right, thanks, Cole. Now, October 5th is the last day you can register to vote in the November election.